welcome to Hero TV, an online platform dedicated to covering humor and ghost stories. Today will be my search light details of government closest to the people and see how governance at the community level is delivering the dividends of democracy to the people. We caught up with a fascinating story in Edo State, South South Nigeria, a government local government area to be precise. Igwebe local government area is one of the five local government areas in Edo Central, a distance of 82 km by road from Benin to Igwebe town. The man at the helm of affairs, Honorable Josie Ogedegbe, is pleased to show us around and happy to render the accounts of his stewardship to his people. Before he became Igwebe local government chairman in 2018, Honorable Josie Ogedegbe was at one time a site engineer at Lancashire Construction Company in Lagos. He was also a part-time consultant on PTF Water Project Kaduna State. Also a technical director at Lansdale Nigeria Limited and was at different time the general manager of Bentable Nigeria Limited. In his over two years in office as chairman, Honorable Josio Gedegbe is keen on seeing the youth of Igwebe local government area productively engage in agricultural activities. We are right here in a 35 hectares of palm fruit plantations that have seen youth producing 250 gallons of palm oil. Let's hear more on the initiative from the chairman. Thank you very much. Uh, I grew up with my grandfather in this same village. I used to follow him to farm and that gave me a lot of interest in farming that with farming a lot of things can be achieved and ever since i started i'm getting good results from the farm so more or less stay with my grandfather gave me a lot of inspiration people rather develop other people's communities or some take beneficial initiative to other cities town or even abroad so why did you decide to do this here? Well, I think I'll say I learned that from my Chinese experience. Everybody stays where is his locality. And that gave me the inspiration to that, okay, the little we can do to develop our people, let us stay within our people. If I take this elsewhere, I'm developing another man's place. So let me employ my people here, develop this place and then be productive. Let me be an example to the, even the locals that no matter what you can achieve within your place. This is not the era of uh, being afraid that witches and wizards will kill somebody. Uh, the hungry man is the angry man. You be with them, join in their pursuits, join in their challenges. They will even protect you if at all they have the powers. So we are here doing it and it is for the good of our people. Almost all the leaders have one excuse or the other of their inability to accomplish their tasks. What is your strength? Because we didn't hear any complaint from you. Well, our strength is the fear of God. Believing in God and knowing that whatever capacity you are put in is by God for the people around you. If you are self-centered, you can move forward. Have the fear of God. See how you can make people happy to the best of your ability. And that's what we are doing. And that gives us a whole lot of encouragement. So rather than complain, as an engineer, I'm trained to look for solutions. So we look out for solutions and we adopt and apply them. We don't look at problems and problems. For as long as you are looking at problems, you will not see the solutions. So we look at for solutions and we apply them and it keeps us going. Mm -hmm. How many beneficiaries do you have on what we have on ground now? Well, permanently we have um, about six, but intermittently we bring in as many as 20 mm. to work and then they go. But those permanently with us are six, about six of them. Mm -hmm. And they are ending their living with us. Okay. And as the farm, expands, the number will continue to increase. Hmm. Well, we've been selling palm oil for close to seven years now. Hmm. Uh, and last year, I know, we sold a lot. Anytime we are broke, we sell, and we recover, we recoup. Hmm. So we're always selling. Now we are gathering again, and uh, by end of the year, we sell again. Hmm. So we are in the market. 
we are even going to try to get NAFDAC registration so that we can have our labels on our palm oil. Hmm. What of purple? Yeah, purple we sold a lot last year. Hmm. Even uh, the women selling purple in Urumi, they come here to buy from us. I will continue, because we don't go to the open market. We sell to the middle people hmm. who not take to the market. <laughs> Our honey farm is also located here, and let's see what the process is all about. We have not harvested this. Okay. Uh, in another one month? Another one month. month. See the wood is like looking so good. Yeah, okay. If you have enough. Having to experiment the honey extracted from the German bean farm, it tasted really good. We extracted from one boss of the bead farm. Honorable Ogodegbe also places emphasis on training for the youth to have a good grasp of the trade. So the youth were trained and awarded certificate in capacity building. We notice the chairman has got an uncommon enthusiasm abound with his community as he expresses how much he feels at home interacting with his community. Well, first and foremost, I think I'm elected to serve the people here, not the people in Benin. So I have to stay among them, know their challenges, know their pursuits. And we hold everything on together. I've uh, consistently lived in the village here for the past uh, two and a half years. And I have not, in fact, to travel out now to Benin, except to have a meeting, my people, they will tell you. So I'm enjoying the state, the fresh air, the fresh food, the... Let me tell you, our people here are very, very, very intelligent. And they give you good ideas. It's not like in the urban cities where everybody is on his own, running her task for survival. And economically, it makes more sense for me to stay in my community. I don't pay rent. I live in my house. And I go from here to the office in Igwebe, and I come back here. You see, when your people are able to meet you at the time of their need and you prefer solutions for them they are ever with you so i need to stay with them to assist them solve their challenges the road network in the community was quite good and now a major booster of economic activities as farmers enjoy ease of movement from their farms to the market to sell their farm produce according to eyewitness accounts for some years the road in the community was a nightmare we got on Erebo Josie Ogedegbe to tell us how the road was a top priority project for him. So what junction are we now? Well, we are in Okuta Junction at Ologo Ebele. Okay, Okuta Junction at Ologo Ebele. Well, this one leading to Okuta, this major one, was done by C4 okay. on approval of the state governor. Okay. Just before we came into office, I wrote an appeal that I had no road to my house and C4 came in from the state and did this. Okay. A distance of almost two kilometers. Okay. So they came in on the magnanimity of Mr. Governor okay. and they did this. Okay. So I had access. Okay. Then secondly, immediately I came in as chairman for the local government. I saw what is on ground. I knew very much well that the council cannot asphalt any road. Mm -hmm. So there is a son of the soil from this place. Mm -hmm. I will want to mention his name. He doesn't like it. Okay. But I would have mentioned his name. Mm -hmm. I approached him. I invited him down. He came. Mm -hmm. And he went back and came up with schemes. And we tagged the Tebele Township Roads. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, we have been working in collaboration, working together very well. Mm -hmm. They came in with the NDDC mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And this road is as it is today. In fact, the entire roads in Ebele mm -hmm. has been tarred, mm -hmm. except one or two that we are still working on now to get them tarred. Mm -hmm. And then I also saw that this Okuta road, being that where I'm from, needed to open up to the entrance. Okay. So that was, there, they, there used to be a mud house here. Okay, but you're saying prior to this time, this Okuta, this, this road, there was no road here there at was all. No road here. no road here at all, at all, no road. Okay. 
So I have to take this as my personal social responsibility to my people who voted for me and have always supported me. So there used to be a mud house here, just like that other one. And then I had to buy it off the man. Then got it demolished and bought it, uh, built a new house for the man, which is across there. <laughs> so, no. so I built that for the man. He moved in, I demolished this, and then we opened it up so the to the whole, express. express. Now, as you as you are talking, now you are saying there is a there is an asset from here to the express. Straight to the express. We are going to drive out through it now. So I'm also working with my friend now to see that we asphalt this road. You see, my idea is this. If you are in position, develop your place. Charity begins at home. If I develop a belly, tomorrow Ekmo Ma is chairman, he develops Ekmo. Next tomorrow, Igwebe Ma is chairman, he develops Igwebe. At the end of the day, in the span of 15 years to 20 years, the whole local government is developed. But if you do little here, little there, little there, it will not make any meaningful impact. So take a place, develop. The next man comes, he takes a place, he develops. And gradually, the development will spread around. So for those that are out there, you don't run from home. Come and develop your people, develop your place. They will like you for it. Yeah. So this is my own personal social responsibility yes. to my people of Okuta. This building right here is part of the mold house that was transformed into a modern building for the community to have access to the major road through this exit. Let's take you to the main house. We are right here in front of the house. Let's see how the... With our visit and interaction with the chairman of the local government area in Edo State, South South Nigeria, we are excited about how the well-being of the people is a top priority for our politician. We encourage such and hope to see more of people-oriented governance across the length and breadth of Nigeria.